Greetings, and welcome back to Animal Crossing. So, it isn't quite the next day yet, but I had so much stuff, and I I keep feeling like I get the, uh, the video done too late, because it takes a long, long time to upload the thing and all kinds of stuff. So I'm thinking about, I don't know, adding an extra video here. So, oh, there's, there's the present. Okay, we need one more cherry blossom recipe. But anyway, um, yeah. Uh, getting things organized in a different way so that it comes at a reasonable time of day and hopefully you can enjoy it sooner in your day. So let's go and catch this. So um, if you didn't catch up with me last episode... Okay, we cannot multitask, <laughs> evidently. <laughs> um, we are... Um, we've changed our clothes here uh, because we're doing a little work here and this is like a worker's shirt and then we have these patches pants we got some steel-toed boots on we have our toolkit and um, i didn't have a work helmet so i'm just going to use the combat helmet for now i guess i could use the one that comes with a construction kit but eh, that's fine one thing i wanted to show you really quickly and i thought was adorable is someone posted this <laughs> factorio crossing crossover fan art which i have found highly highly amusing um, and I hope you will too. Uh, but anyway, I think that was on Reddit or some somewhere. Somebody posted it in the Discord and I was highly amused by this. Uh, anyway, I would like to, what we forgot to do in the episode is visit our visitor. So let's go ahead and do that right now. All right, and we have a f our guest here, Barbara. <laughs> My mind knows I must go home tomorrow, but my heart is in denial. What can I say? This vacation and this island has been too fabulous, darling. It makes me wonder how much more fabulous Sky Island is when you live here for good. Oh. Move in and find out. My, is that a serious suggestion? Why, never in my wildest dreams did I imagine I'd get such a lovely offer. But I'm so sorry to have to turn you down. I just can't move. You see, I'm rather fond of my current island, despite, or perhaps because of its faults. <gasps> no, Barbara! Is it because I haven't put your housing plot out yet? So I discovered something. Um, I don't actually... I have nine colonists, and I thought ten would be me, villagers, max villagers. But it's not. Um... So what I did is I picked up a, um, I checked and I picked up a thing from Tom Nook, the building thingamajingy, which is in my inventory here, the housing kit uh, for 10,000 bells. And he says, you know, this is your last one. So I'm thinking, you know, let's just make one. And so I have decided where to put it. By the way, this fencing is new. This is just like to hopefully like get more, get more score help. Um, what I thought is I might move Barbara into this place near Rolf. Yeah, that's his name. <laughs> so we'll just put him there. That's why I've eaten some fruit here, as you can tell in the upper left-hand corner. Um, so we're going to dig up these apple trees for now. You know what? Let's just shake them for now. Let's get the fruit off. I need to plant more apple trees. It occurred to me that I don't have enough fruit for visitors or for like new people. I like to help out people uh, if they need uh, starting fruits and stuff like this. And this isn't even a full stack. It's embarrassing. So yeah, we need to get some more fruit going on here with the apple trees. And I might make it so that these are all apple trees instead. Like these guys, maybe these as well. Uh, and make this more of an apple tree area because I don't really want to convert a lot of my groves. Um, in fact, I'm thinking mostly I have been chopping down trees uh, for stuff. So, yeah. Anyway, let's see what we got here. Um, I, I think what we're going to do, let's lay down a tile. Let's see. This is the furthest I can go. Okay. Is that really... Really? Really? Let's see. What if I try to put this house right here? Is that tree gonna die? I don't want the tree to die. So if we build it here, is that... No, that's wind too far, I think. Hold on. Go back one square. Let's try it here instead. I think this might be the right location. Build here. That looks correct, and it does look right the correct distance away from that tree as well i think this is it let's go ahead um and imagine it sure 
Maybe we can convince Barbara. When I talked to her earlier, I talked to her like three times. Okay, I think yes, okay. <laughs> Just make sure we read the dialogue this time. Yay! We picked stuff. All right, so that can go there. And I, I, this is perfect. This is tree right in the middle. That's what I wanted. That is looking pretty darn good. So I don't know what kind of cherry ch cherry tree this is. I don't know what kind of cherry. It could be Bing or Black. I don't know. No, I'm just kidding. Um, but yeah, we'll figure out the trees in just a second. I believe those are my only three apple trees. So I do want to have a tiny bit more of those guys. And also it's useful for crafting and other stuff too. Let's see if Barbara will move in now. See what we can do with Barbara here. Hello, Barbara. I have a place for you. To be honest, darling, I wouldn't have thought camping like this would suit me. After all, I usually loathe to go without basic amenities. You know, like an infinity pool or a heated bidet. I have a bidet. You can have mine. But much to my surprise, roughing it suits me just fine. I find it appeals to my bold nature. No, this sheep isn't about to let a little fresh air in an unkempt wilderness keep her from adventure. Hey, you have fancy flowers outside, don't complain. You know, okay. I used to think that traveling to unknown places just wasn't for me. But getting away from my own island and flying to someplace completely different, it's downright exhilarating. Plus the whole island adventurer thing looks rather good on me, don't you think, darling? Oh god, I want the sheep. Come on, sheep! I have a little proposal for you, my dear. Let's play a game for my color block dress shirt. It's simple, really. If you win, you get my color block dress shirt as a present, darling. Yeah, let's do it. Aha! I thought you'd say that. Now, before we get started, do you know the rules? Uh, no, please tell me. Alrighty then. The rules are quite simple. You see how each card has a symbol on it for a different suit? Heart, diamond, spade, or club? Well, I'm going to pick one card. Then it's up to you to guess which type of card it is. If you guess correctly, then my color block dress shirt is yours. Simple enough, yes? You look like you're ready for some fun, so let's give this a go. <laughs> really? I have never seen this particular game. What an odd thing. What do I think it is? I don't know. Is this is this like a question? You know what? She seems really posh, so let's choose diamonds. Next, let's check your answer. <gasps> no, I was going to choose hearts. No. My goodness, I win this round. I'm sorry, but that means no present for you, darling. Must be sure to thank Lady Luck for smiling on me today. I don't know why I thought it was a heart inside, I but I did. I really did. Can you move in, Barbara? It's important that one set out on new travel adventures whenever one can, darling. It's the best way to see new things and meet new folks. Not to mention find new places to shop. Oh, I gotta have the sheep. Come on. Oh, the refreshing. Yes, I know it's refreshing. She loved toasting marshmallows over the fire. I wasn't very patient, so I usually burned them. I didn't mind. They still tasted delicious to me. Okay, yeah, we heard about this. Can you please, like... Please, I want to ask you. Please? Well, we have a place for you to be. You can't go camping without a campfire. It's just not done, darling. Gathering around the fire, telling spooky stories in the flickering light. It's a time-honored tradition. Though I confess it's much harder to go to sleep in a dark tent after that, darling. That's one thing I could put on the beaches. Okay, yes. Come on, I want to spam you, Barbara. Please? Okay, she has a track jacket to give me. Sure, I wonder if it's random. Let's see. Yeah, I know them. Man, she has not given me that dialogue option. Maybe I should come back later. Okay. Should we try a heart again? Let's try the heart again. Okay. No! Okay, so it's random. Alright. I thought it might be... I don't know, she always picks hearts or something. Oh dear. That's a heck of a... That's a heck of a game. <laughs> Okay, one more dialogue here. Okay, she wants to play another game. A retro A-line dress. Sure. All right. Yeah, I know them. Thank you very much. We appreciate your, your yeah, rules thing. Whatever. Okay, we'll just choose a heart again. It's random, so yeah. It's really? <laughs> it's clubs. Oh, no. No! 
All right, well, we'll have to check on her later, I think. That's unfortunate. I wonder if no is her final answer or if she can, like, be persuaded or something. I don't know. Maybe we need to come back later. Um, all right, so I was kind of picking fruit, just doing various things, checking on the flowers. I still need to do the roses, I think, but I kind of wanted to show you some of the progress I made earlier in the day. Um, I started making a path here, as you can see. And we have a brick path and we have our bridge. I decided to keep the bridge. I know that that was probably a source of amusement for many people. <laughs> it was not a source of, musing, of amusement for me, however. However, it's okay. This is actually a nice place to put it. It minimally disrupts our tulips. And most importantly, it minimally uh, uh, disrupts our, um, our river here. I really don't like to do a lot of terraforming because I feel like you know, I like the natural landscape and it's quite pretty and it's nice. So yeah, we're just gonna keep that going there. Oops, flower petal, hooray. Still catching as many of those as I can. Oops, I forgot to log out and log back in so that I could get rid of these holes so I wouldn't be embarrassed on YouTube. But I, alas, I did not. So anyway, we have this. This bothers me. How is this even existing? Like Nintendo, you have millions maybe billions of dollars why can we not place diagonal tiles like here too this is just huh and i can't place them underneath the bridge like right there this corner that i'm standing on where there's like grass lots of grass i can't place it there either um so yeah it's interesting but anyway i have rearranged the flowers here um so that we have a tiny bit of a shorter path and it's better for running so we can go this way and up and over i have i was thinking about going all the way around this way but i just i don't know this seemed like a better option so i just chose this way and it makes it interesting it isn't straight um it's a tiny bit curvy and it it works so yeah there we go did i have another yeah i do have another orange tulip in my inventory that's kind of important um i also moved all of the items out of my item corrals which was was also kind of important yeah you see there's absolutely nothing left on the beach except for some seashells which is nice so um we got the metronome that's just furniture uh, probably I can, I don't know, I'll pick that up and take it back home. Uh, we can probably set out other furniture out here. I believe that these fish count as furniture too, so having all of these out there is not too bad. But I was thinking, um, of putting them in a slightly different place. Like, if we look at our map here, um, and like this square A, I don't know, A, two, three, four, all of those rocky outcroppings, those are also potential storage sites for fruits, uh, not fruits, um, fish and insects that we want to trade away to get collectibles made out of them. So, all right, so let's go across the way here and get these orange tulips set up. Now here, I'm sure this drives some people absolutely nuts. Um, this idea that they are the orange ones are not in the same checkerboard as the other ones. That is very, very much on purpose. I do not want the orange ones to breed with the yellow ones. I don't want that at all. Um, and I'm thinking they don't get to breed if they're placed that way. I'm not sure 100%, but I think not. Um, so the hope is that they only breed with other orange ones. That's the idea behind this. If they do breed with... Um, like if this this corner touches counting this one, I don't know if it does or not. Um, if it's if it's side touching that counts, or if it's only diagonal corners, then um, then we'll have to redo this. But anyway, that's why I have it that way. It is very functional, even if it isn't like glorious or pretty or something. <laughs> So anyway, um, I've been feeling like I've been doing a lot of the same things in my video. So I thought, you know what, let's just do some like construction-y stuff today um, and like plan this pathway out here. We have put the, um, the house out for Barbara, so I'm quite happy about that. I was almost going to put her up here next to Annalise, but then I thought, eh, I don't know. I, I'm thinking that as I develop the island and as I kind of get a sense of things and how I want things to be and get more furniture, that really inspires me is actually having the furniture to do what I want to do. Um, I'll get more ideas and, and move people around uh, because it's not that expensive to move buildings. It's just fine. 
Um, but I didn't, I don't know, I didn't want to clear this area yet. I'm thinking I might save that for lily breeding because this area is not ideal because I kind of want to have an incline. And my thought for the incline is not to go straight down as in this way. My thought is to have like a little thing here and go sideways to get down here uh, and back to the path. Have this kind of little winding path to get up to Annalise's uh, place over there. Um, I don't know if that's possible. I don't know how wide they are, but that's the thought anyway that I'm kind of going with. I think, do I want to pull up these trees or do I just want to chop them? I'm thinking I'll just chop these trees here. I really do want this wooded grove. Now these two I'm keeping. I really like having them here. It kind of is this entrance way to uh, a wooded area with these um, uh, pine trees or uh, what do you call them? Evergreen trees. Um, so I want I want that to be an entrance way of like, okay, we're entering a different space and this is how this is happening. So uh, I want to kind of gradually show um, people walking along that this is new 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 area, new biome area. Of course, that's completely messed up by the whole top area over here being full of flowers, but it's fine. We'll make it fine, I promise. No, and yeah, it's fine. It's funny because I realized that the only um, the only stumps I have in my entire uh, island are by my house. And I prefer it that way because if I want to find insects that spawn on stumps, guess where I look? Right by my house. So I thought I found that kind of, oh no, 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 I picked up the wrong thing. That's not convenient. Um, okay, so how do we want to get this path over here? Thinking like, so if we do an incline here, we'll probably have to bring this thing out like this, but I don't know how many squares wide it is. I guess we could go and look at the other incline. The thing is, I don't know if you can place it right next to the cliff, um, cliff side or not. Oopsies, all right. So, and we can't test it either. Okay, so this thing, this is one, two, is it only two wide? I guess it is, because the flowers are there. They're quite happy to be here. Okay, so let's go and why don't we just go ahead and get our construction booties on here and, and get that sorted. Yeah, this is definitely runnable. One thing I did think about doing is if I had a lot of traffic in my place, I might put a wall here just to prevent people from like trampling the flowers. But I do like that one edge. So if you could like hold down left like this kind of ish, um, you, you wouldn't kill any of the flowers. And that's kind of nice. But I don't know if I want to, you know, sacrifice another width to get more tiles. I want to have more flowers, not more tiles of road. Go away, roads. Uh, but that may be coming in the future. I don't know. I do like this, how it is. In fact, I'm going to screenshot this just in case. If this doesn't work, I'll put it back to the way it it has been. Okay, let's start our Constructioner app. Yes, please. Island designer. Go ahead. Go, go. Boom. Good. Getting permission. I don't understand why there, this takes so long. I just don't get it. I really don't understand this game. Okay, so cliff construction. Let's do this. Okay, so how are we going to do this? Okay. That way? Nope. No, it's not this way. I think we need to go down and do it from the bottom. Just try it from there first. Okay, so let's go back to our designer thingamajingy. There we go. And say here. There we go. That's making it work. Okay, that was easy. One tile. Boom. Um... So this pathway can kind of go up diagonally here and go around. I don't know how many tiles we want to save between here. It would be nice to have a tile of flowers between this and the ramp. Um, uh, that, that seems like it would work really well. And the other thing I'm doing with this road is like partitioning off places of interest. Like this area, I think I'm going to move these flowers and that wall is going to go by the way. This, it just, yeah, I didn't, yeah. Yeah, it's fine. It'll be fine. Um, 
so yeah these these areas are like little serendipitous places for like i don't know garden chairs or a little wishing well or something like that that seems kind of I don't know, fun and, and, and friendly to be able to do stuff with. All right, let's go ahead and put down some pathing here. Because I am liking this area. I cannot see with this tree. Uh, I think I might have to uproot that tree for a moment. Okay, let's uproot the tree. That's why I have the cherries on me, so I can just eat one. And since cherries are... Well, I guess I could do this. I could just like... Hello? We can look there. Yeah, I didn't need to eat that. Okay, it's fine. It's fine. Okay, go. Go bloop. Alright. Okay, and then make it not square. You too. Okay, again, look. This is interesting, working in the dark here. Okay, so we want to make a thingy here. Oh, no, we don't. We want to have this going straight this way, I believe, right? Because we want to have... And by the way, several people have been complaining in Discord about like, Oh my god, why is this this way? Yeah. Mm -hmm. What we could do... Oh, no. Uh, ba basically, they don't like the way the aiming is in the character. I completely agree. It's really weird to get them to aim properly. Okay, there we go. So that's kind of nice. Um, and then this section here, I'm thinking is, can be for like lilies um, to kind of advertise like, hey, we have lilies up there. Maybe we could even put a sign over here or something like that. Now, that tree is gonna obviously have to go. Uh, should we pick it up? Eh, it's fine. We'll go and just delete it for now. Alrighty, let's go get our axe. I kind of wish we had more slots. Like on the wheel here, I use every single one of these items and I hate changing them out. Um, yeah, it's not ideal. Uh, but I can't put my magic wand on there um, unless I take something else off. Oh, and I forgot to run. I discovered that you can actually run from the wasps if you get going right at the get go there. You can actually outrun them as, and your destination should be uh, a building, any building, a uh, shop, your house, anywhere, just as long as you can run. So you can avoid that. And then as soon as you jump in the building, they, um, they go ahead and dissipate. Okay. So this has got to go as well. This flower, let's go and count the number of tiles. This thing is long. Oh, hello present. Hi. Are you my last recipe? Hello. Hello. Hi. Hi, hi. There you are. Greetings. Are you for me? I think you're for me. You're going to be what I want, aren't you? Thank you. Thing. At least it's something interesting. Table with cloth. I don't think I've got I've seen that before. What do we got here? Place item. Oh. Okay. So it's like a Kind of a nice uh, dinner table or something. It does look very pretty. I wonder if it's customizable. Hmm. I don't know if we can customize these things that we find from the sky, though. This might need some decoration here. I'm not sure if I should put flowers in front of here. I could just do a set of, um, like, solid color of flowers here. Uh, maybe? I don't know. Part of my efforts to gather flower petals... Man, I haven't even collected all of my fruit and stuff today yet. It has been such a busy day. Okay, uh, I completely forgot what we were going to do. Oh, yes, we were going to measure this thingy majingy. That's right. Wait, can we put something in the side? Jeez, we have so much stuff in here. Actually, you know what? I'll just drop it on the ground. It's fine. It's fine. We'll just drop these guys. Drop. Drop. Since I'm not going to get any more shells... I probably can just keep those uh, flower petals since I am planning on getting more of those, but... Oh, the can as well. That's kind of useless. I don't want to go into the loading screen of the house right now. But that's what I would normally do. 
Oh, hello. <laughs> hello, flower petal. I'm kind of afraid that I won't have enough flower petals to make all the things. So I'm like collecting a bunch. I have around 50 right now. Um, I have made a few of the items. I was gifted one of the items. So I don't have to make all of them. Okay. This, oh, okay. Sorry. Yep. Brain on petals. <laughs> Excuse me for that. I apologize. We were looking at the distance. This is... Okay, so it takes up one here, but it's... I love that I have mums there. One, two, three. It is three and a tiny bit four there. So let's go home and actually... You know what? We can go home and grab some lily seeds. Or... Do we have any lilies out here? We might. Thank you. Yay. Yay for flower petals. Hooray. I kind of dislike these timed events. They they actually stress me. I'm like, no! Okay, so we're going to plan for four. Let's go. Do we want... Maybe we'll just do pink ones. I don't think the pink breed into anything. Uh, I could be but completely mistaken, though. This is actually turning out to be a bit pretty, I think. This This flower bed around the amber here. Um, we might keep this as a mixed flower bed. I don't know. We'll see. The ordered flower beds, obviously, they're very eye-catching and very uh, structured and kind of cool. But I do like my flower bed in front of the museum. It is turning out to be amazing. I think it's all bloomed. Oh, yes, it is all bloomed. We didn't get a chance to admire it today. But look at this. I think it's pretty great. I think it's very nice. Yeah. It's looking good. It's all yellow, it's monochromatic, and yet it's got this different texture of all the different flowers there and some delineations. It's it's looking good. I'm liking it a lot. So, okay, so that's that. Oh, there was a flower petal over there. Okay, I'm never mind. Go away. Go away, flower petals. We don't have time for you now. No. So four squares. Oh, we need to come and do maintenance on the rose bed later. Oh my gosh, there is stuff. It's harder to see in the darkness, I've noticed. Mm. Okay, so let's just get our ladder. Um, I also deleted a few trees over here to make room for these orange pansies. Does anyone need orange pansies? I feel like I have a billion of them. Uh, if you want to trade for some, I'd be happy to give them to you. I keep getting hybrids of these guys. It's like my whole island is bent on growing pansies. And I like pansies IRL, but I'm not that fond of them in the game. I mean, they're they're nice, but eh, I'm not that thrilled. Okay, so um, presuming this goes here from this edge, I hope this will go here. I really am hoping for this. So let's put something here. What can we put here? We'll put a red cosmos plant. How about that? Yay. One, two, and then four. That's two tiles. This is four. Okay, so Lily is going to go there. If we were gambling people. <laughs> I have a feeling like when we put this thing down, this may not survive. And that's my only pink Lily so far. So forget it, game. I'm not giving it to you. Okay, let's plant this one here and then we'll um, put the other Lily when we can. Put, put the Lily when we're sure. If it... Um, if it's the right size. Okay, let's pick up this tree. I'm going to move that. And now we can uh, add some more of this pathing path here. So we're going to have this path go up here. Clunk, clunk. Now there is a question to be made here. Like how much pathing do we need, really? Do we need to have... You know, too wide. I think it looks nice, at least too wide. But in reality, who's going to go visit Annalise that often? Oh my god, really? I was trying to aim up there. Girl, please help. Help us out a bit. Okay, there we go. Now this, uh, I think we can smooth that corner off. That's not going to be too bad there. Yay. Now, the question is, where do we go from here? Do we go diagonally across, uh, or how do we want to do this? Because that might be a better option here. And it would leave more room uh, on both sides, or we could have a path right directly in the middle of this section there. 
so that is something I oh come on girl no 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 i really wanted you to do this tile thank you there we go okay so we have something done at least jeez see how wide is this sometimes it's like really difficult to tell okay so that's one tile uh can i here we'll just drop stuff drop item okay so that's two and then this is something else drop yeah okay so we have five wide that is not not really ideal for having something centered, unless it's a one-wide path. Um, we could actually have a one-wide path here, because this area here, even though it looks like it's, I don't know, a whole colony of... Wait, is there... Oh, jeez, it's the metronome. Here, can you stop dinging? I thought it was stars happening. No, stop. <laughs> I got so excited, I'm like... No stars! Okay, now it's stopped. Good. Um, anyway, this... Oh, there's a water bug. Those are very expensive, actually. Uh, but I don't care that much because we have more money than we need uh, at the moment. So anyway, um, that's kind of the thought here. Is that this area is going to be this secret, quiet, quiet place where there's none of this furniture. We're going to have this. I like this um, sort of bath thing that we've got going on here. And I like um, the, the leaf pile. I really liked how I had it before I added all this furniture for the silly five-star rating thing. I, I regret doing that because it's not turning out to be beautiful. Oh my god, I'm gonna chase this bug all over the place even though I know how to catch them. Okay, I just wait till it comes back. There we go. I'll just go this side. Water bugs are kind of fun to catch because they are kind of, um, like, you don't have to sneak up on them at all. You can even clomp around, run around them, and they still get caught. It's really very handy. Find one of those water bug islands, and they are great. Oh my gosh. Pick up the stick. Not a lot of... We don't want to have extra stuff on the ground. Okay, so this is, um, here. What we could do... We could put the one wide pathway here, have a formal garden bed here, or uh, since this is wild, this is nature, maybe we want to have um, something like pansies that kind of grow in foresty conditions. Uh, I'm not quite sure how we want to do this. I don't know where windflowers come from. I think they're poppies. They kind of look like poppies. Uh, but I know cosmos are very sunshine loving plants. Uh, and lilies and stuff too, and hyacinths too. They're kind of bulb plants. Uh, but pansies, I think, are kind of foresty. So that's an option. What we could do is have mixed pansy beds here. Uh, they are nearby the pansy grove, which is, you know, just down this way. Um, I don't know if that matters or not. But, oh, there's our little wild animal. My Eleonora yelling. She is very, very vocal today. It's hard to imagine, like, this is supposed to be an abandoned wilderness, but... <laughs> oh well. Um, right. So maybe we should live, leave this decision for another day. Let's see. If we go central, we have two rows on either side, which can lead to, like, a checkerboard pattern or a random pattern. If we move the path up one here, then we have three spaces down here and one on this side which I think might be okay. It would help with the squiggliness of this road as well to have to go this way. Um, I think that would be better. Okay, let's go with that for now. Let's do that, I like this idea. All right, clunk. Pick up this. Okay, nice. Oh, 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 I forgot one thing. I don't want to do this. I want to replace it with a dark dirt path instead. Um, well, wait, what, do I? Do I want to do this? Maybe I should go stones. And the reason for that is what we found out in last episode that <laughs> apparently flowers can grow on dirt pathways. So if I accidentally water too much stuff, then we're going to have this uh, flowers always growing on the path. And that's more maintenance than I want to deal with. Especially if it's an easy fix like this. Um, you know, using this. I really wish that Flick would visit me because I might 
instead choose to make this a winding pathway, like coming down a tiny bit here. Um, and I think we're not going to go any further than that for now. But I am liking how this is happening. This is good. And two tiles wide is quite runnable. I think, I think that's nice. So I can run through here. This I'm not certain of. This I might change to two, but here it has to be one. Unless I want to, like, really restructure this entire thing. Um, and then here again. I like to have these mums here. It's okay. I think it's okay. But it's so narrow. Oh my god, I need more tiles. Uh, the only thing I could do is I could reduce this area up here. I don't really want to because, I, like I said, I love to not terraform stuff. I like to work with nature rather than tear it apart. So, uh, anyway, we'll we'll figure that out. But I think I think this is working pretty well. I'm kind of happy with how this is going at the moment. So, okay, let's figure out what else we need to do. We were gonna look at the roses, I believe. That was our next order of business. So let's go and take the bridge across the waterfall. Yay! No needing to use the thingy majingy. Those walls there are actually kind of inconvenient. I was trying to like not put them everywhere um, but they they just block off stuff like this stuff at the edge here and the reason that is at the edge is because of the way the map aligns. If we look at the meta square things here see if we look at this you can see right where I am here. Um, there's not a lot of space in this area for furniture so I put it all at that corner um, hoping that it would make a difference, but yeah. Anyway, it's fine. I'll turn it off. I like it off because I, uh, I often, I do screenshots for the thumbnails and stuff, so, and I know my own island. Uh, the only time I look at it usually is when I go to other people's islands. So what color are those? Let's find out. Oh, orange. Right, so orange ones, let's put an orange one here. I think here is good. What about behind, what is, what do we got here? Oh, behind the tree will work as well. <sighs> I think we need to delete the tree. I'm sorry, tree, you gotta go. We apologize for the inconvenience, but you are now too big for your own britches. No, I mean, I kind of wanted to have trees in this area. They may all get chopped down because I am very much into flower breeding. I love it. I love to have the trees, I love to have the, the, the flowers and make more and hopefully they interbreed and it's fun. I enjoy this part of the game a great deal. Should I chop down both of these as well? I might need to. So I feel like my rose garden isn't... <laughs> I say it isn't breeding enough. Um, you know what? Let's go and chop down these guys. And I think we might move down the purple area. And then... Um, yeah, that's good. This is good. I like this idea. All right, let's go get our shovel as well. It's so funny. If you don't, like, take care of your wasp stings, the villagers get all ain't. Like, oh my god, I thought you were a horror monster. Really? Are you serious? <laughs> like, hello, it's just me. <laughs> you remember me from the other day, right? I so yeah. But it's okay. Okay, that's fine there. Let's get this one off. Let's plant that one orange rose here. Okay, good. And, hmm. I'm thinking I might have to remove this entire thing. Uh, ideally, what we want to do is get these guys, and I think maybe I'll just separate them by one square here. Uh, so that I could just, like, water by going... Uh, like this, just watering in a line here, you know, going from uh, section to section here, like this. Because having them in like a row of four instead of three is extremely inconvenient. <laughs> extremely inconvenient. So, okay, there we go. We can also put more white roses on the edges here. I'm not sure exactly how the rose breeding works, and I haven't found a thing that answers my questions to my level of need. Uh, and that... Okay, I'm just checking to make sure we don't have any roses in our inventory. Um, and the question is... Like, which roses get to breed? Is it like, you know, if adding one on the end, if I add two more 
white roses, did that, does this plant have two more chances to breed with them? I'm guessing so, uh, because the more roses you have, maybe the more, or more, you know, flowers you have, the, maybe the better it is. Okay, let's take this one. These red roses, not to be confused with uh, the bread reds, which I have one of those. Okay, so we want one space in between. We can go maybe here, I think. So start with red. Okay, and then we'll go here. And you don't need a shovel to plant um, plant flowers, by the way. Plant, okay. Oh, this is so nice. I could actually put a path between them. Um, even though that would kind of limit the tiles that they have. So this is not very expandable, this area. But I'm glad that they don't lose any kind of uh, anything when you, you know, uproot them. Okay, let's see what we got in Roseland here. That is a pink, yeah? Yeah, pink. This one looks like a red, I think. It's hard to tell at night, but I think during the day we determined it might have been a red. Let's see, it looks like we got a something over there. There's a red, okay. We got another white. Now that white, I don't know if I should breed it, if I should put it over here, because it is actually a bread white. It's not a pure white. So we could get any combination of stuff from that, because presumably that was bread with a red and a white. So we could actually get red ones out here, which is, would not be ideal. All right, let's see, did we get a purple? Oh, we got a black. Wow, we got black. Holy fuzzy cats, that's exciting. Oh my gosh, wow. So we now have two black roses, whoa. That's kind of amazing. I didn't really think about this, but I guess that's a thing. Hmm. I just took a quick look at the spreadsheet, which is from the Animal Crossing official uh, Discord server, where they talk about uh, breeding and stuff like this. And this is stuff that players have found and also has been data mined. Um, and funny enough, they do not list black on the breeding chart to make gold roses. That kind of surprised me a bit. Um, this one over here, this is a bread red. Um, and that one is goes to making blue roses. So if we want the blue color, that's what that's for. But otherwise, we are kind of looking to make a new area just for our black roses. So let's go and figure out a place for that. Where do we want this to be? It could be up here, actually. Or maybe we should just take another row of orange trees out of here. Maybe that's what we, we need to do with this. Or uh, we could delete this area. But the only thing is we don't have a lot of yellow roses that are um, breeding at the moment. So um, we might want to keep those in order to have more orange ones. All right, so we didn't get a purple. Wow, we got a black. That's kind of exciting, actually. Pretty darn cool. Um, but I think we need to bring those other roses, the red and the white. Let's put them in the mixed bed over here. Or over here. Oh, there's a white one here. I've completely lost track of all of this, by the way. I thought those other two <laughs> were were um were white but apparently they aren't uh let's put the reds down here maybe okay this is great so then we had pinks in town All right oh hello hi present i know that you are a thing that i need i know this i know this from the bottom of my heart i am aware of this right okay you're not that's um that's really cute but you're not a cherry blossom pattern. Did you know this? <laughs> Did you know this game? Give it back. Give it to me. I need it. Ah, oh, oh, these two are still sitting having tea. I talked to... <laughs> ah, Rodney. Oh, that cracks me up because everyone else, oh my God, you're a zombie. You look horrible. And Rodney's like, there's something different about you today, but I can't quite put my finger on it. Did you get a haircut? Laham, I'm just messing with you. I can see your face, but it does scream with some wasps. Oh, I thought he was... Okay, I thought he was serious. It would have been more funny if he was serious, I think. Um, okay, oh, and here... Oh, look what we got. 
All right, so here, let's plant this guy here. Plant. Now this is our town cherry tree. This is the one I don't want to dig up. I want to just like, in case we never have any cherry trees again. <laughs> And this is, this is quite the prolific area. That is the second pink rose that has been bred out of this area. I think that's cool. All right, so plant here. Um, and I think I'll just water them so I don't forget. Um, okay, we'll water these guys this way. And then we'll water the rest right there. Yay. I don't mind if they breed. It's okay. Give me more pink. I want... Because I want to fill up this entire area here with, with flowers. I might put fences between these houses to prevent walking. I'm not quite sure though because I sometimes like to walk. Though I wouldn't want my visitors to walk. Um, yeah, that's a thing. So I love this area. I love these white flowers. I think they're so good. Okay, so we have things. We, have, we were looking for black rose sales do we want to sell anything the shop here sort of i don't know we could probably let's just go ahead and what are these guys again so we don't have to do it later do we have anything here that we can use over there probably not we have one rose what are you rose hello also, I can probably plant that pink lily out here back again. Okay, so that's a red rose. Let's plant the pink lily uh, just so we have it safe. Um, you know, ish, I guess. So let's have red roses here. Okay, and then we'll just have like rows of roses. That sounds interesting. <laughs> rows of roses. Okay. Oh, I already planted it. Apparently, I watered it already. Never mind. Wait, was that stars no maybe can we push upon a star hello no maybe it was the squirrel making noise i don't know i'm like so over tuned to the sounds because i really need fragments um i was able to get several uh yesterday which was really exciting um but yeah we're still kind of like where are they i want them so, black roses, where are we going with this? Hmm. I'm wondering if I should dig up these uh, mums over here. That might be a really good idea, to dig up the mums. I might just have a think about all of this and figure out how I want to get stuff done. I have no idea, by the way, what golden roses are used for. I have a, th a, a, a thought that like veteran animal crossers would know this information, but I've never played the game before. So I have no idea what, you know, is going to be involved in that. Do you sell them or do you craft with them? Or are they just like a status symbol for your, um, for your town or, or, you know, like, an ego boost like hello my entire island is covered in golden roses yeah um don't trust the pics i could just plant and replant it's fine <laughs> so yeah i have no idea but um yeah it's something that i'm curious about figure it out okay so we want to breed these guys up this way this area here let's see let's plant the first one here i think black is that correct yeah, i believe it is correct yeah one space in between and then i may have to i'm gonna have to move those red ones away unless i just do a row of two of these guys here okay let's take this here i'm serious about my roses dang it now these guys, these black roses, are not actually going to do anything until I get the golden watering can. Um, so I'm making that a priority. I'm going to build as many bridges and inclines as I possibly can um, to make sure that that happens. And also just work on maybe creating other spaces and things like that. I'm really excited about the new pathway that we've been working on today. I'm, I have these kind of like vague ideas of, oh yes, I would love this little... Um, park area or a sitting area or something like that and i'm gonna start actually creating those areas very soon and uh, hopefully we can i wish there was a space like that would tell us how much furniture we actually have in this game that would be nice like how much how much do we have how much do we need 
that kind of thing. Because this is this silly stuff here is like ridiculous. I think it's so silly. And like, how much do flowers count and all this kind of thing? We could go and talk to Isabel and see what she says to us. I don't know if we have to literally have zero items on the floor. That could be a thing. Um, let me go and see. Because I know I have a couple. I mean, if we go around and collect all of the... Oh, there's a weed there. Go away, weed. Uh, if we go around and collect all the shells... Um, I'll leave those eggs there. It's fine. Uh, let's go and see what she says. I'm really curious to see what she says. Because maybe, you know, maybe she's still complaining about the same thing. Cry. It's Belle. Hello. I'm also going to talk to Sheep Lady as well. I want to see what she's going to say. Okay, good evening. How can I help you? Let's talk island evals. I'm serious about this today, Isabel. Four star rating. Yeah, I know. Thank you. I don't care. I just want to know. Visitations are pleasant. Too many items. Okay. I'm curious. Let's see. I'm going to try one more thing. I'm going to go ahead and pick up every single item, but I'm not going to do that in the recording. I'm going to do that just off, so I'll be right back. Okay, we're back in Isabel land. I have gone through the entire island. I have looked behind every single tree to see if there are any branches behind or stones or whatever and picked up all the shells on the beach. Whew, we did it. <laughs> we have a five star rating. Woohoo! Thank you, Isabel. Our island has become so popular that people dream about living here. Allow me to read an excerpt from the feedback that I gathered. This royal throne of bugs, this sceptered isle, this hive of majesty, this infested plot, this earth, this terrarium, this skyland. Wow. <laughs> well, there you have it. It wasn't Blathers who wrote that, that's for sure. Skyland, once a deserted island, untouched by civilization, earned the best possible ranking. Thank you for all your hard work, Catherine. You were key to this island's success. Oh, to commemorate this very special achievement, I'm presenting residents with a recipe for a golden watering can. If you pull out your phone, I can send you the data right now. Oh my god, so we actually really won the game now. <laughs> Right. Okay, you should have it now. I can't wait to see that golden watering can and all the flowers it will water. Can I help you with anything else? I want to talk about one more thing, Isabel. Can my island rating actually go down? Now, if you are a, um, a seasoned uh, person in the game, tell me, can this island rating go down? Like, if I pick up too much furniture... Um, and don't replace it with stuff, or if I let too much clutter happen, am I going to lose the five stars? Because, like, I worry, I, I would really like to have those, um, lilies of the valley growing, because those guys, um, if you, if you have the, uh, if the, have a five star rating, I hear that they will spawn in your game after X amount of days of five star rating. Oh, I still have these like bunny day things. Oh my god. I just put all the recipes upstairs, all the trades. And that's another thing. I want to have a corral for trading stuff. Um, but yeah, do those things go away? Or does the rating go away? Or does it stay forever? Oh, and we had a couple of things that I found. We have a lost item that I found on one of the back rock areas, the beach back there. I want to investigate this. Stylish bag adorned with gold metal spikes. It's got attitude. Hmm. I wonder if that belongs to our friendly sheepy person. And then I bought these glasses off of... Oh, those are quite cute, actually. Off of Rudy, because <laughs> Rudy was desperate to get rid of them, apparently. Um, anyway, yeah, this is, this is very, very cool. So let's get out a gold nugget and make our first golden watering can... And then let's water our black roses. I don't think we'll get a gold rose, but you can't hurt. Why not? Let's try it. Okay, so gold thingy-majingies. Where are you? Hello? 
I don't know if I want to um, water everything with the golden watering can because apparently the durability is not great. So let's craft this thing. I presume she put it directly in my phone. There it is. Oh, and I got the silo as well. Um, I don't know if I'll put one down, but we'll, yeah, that'll go. Hopefully it doesn't like reduce, like my current watering can isn't like reduced durability. Let's see. Let's just do this. I know that the golden watering can waters a three by three area. I saw someone using it on their island. Um, and I'm just curious to, uh, to see if we'll get some stuff. I'm really surprised she didn't complain about the number of holes on the island. I'm like, yeah. <laughs> I didn't want to reload the game because I thought, well, it's probably going to might spawn more sticks and stuff. I don't know if those spawn at regular times of day or just in the... Um... Oh, it doesn't... Oh, it can't be working anyway because these aren't quite blooming. Hmm. That's not ideal. Well, you know what? We'll water it anyway. Maybe it'll just be beautiful for us. Ooh, yay. So yeah, it will water a three by three area. So if I, st I think if I stand in the middle, it would water all these around. Um, but I guess we'll have to wait till tomorrow and see if our, you know, obviously our, this one will bloom so we can start getting that going on. But I'm excited for the possibility of gold roses. Wow. So yeah, we don't, uh, yeah, <laughs> that's gonna be interesting. Anyway, I think um, I think that's probably gonna do it for this episode. I'm really excited. We got the golden watering can. We are awesome. This is so fantastic. And we're gonna have to figure out what we're gonna do about these orchards and the other things and stuff and all the things and all the stuff. So anyway, uh, thank you so very much for joining me. Uh, take care of yourselves and each other. And I'll see you next time.